Hello people, welcome to another Gita tutorial from me for you. And today we're going to play um, Ben Howard and Keep Your Head Up. And um, yeah, what can I say about that? It's a very difficult song, um, for me that is. Um, in order to play this song you need to, um, to tune down your last two strings, so these strings right here, um, two steps, okay? Um, not very difficult if you have like a tuning thing, uh, it's easily done, like just two steps down. Um, yes, let's get right into it. Um, because there's like a pre-intro before the actual intro comes in, uh, you can you can hear that in the in the original song. So let's start with that. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you how my how my guitar is tuned. So it sounds like this. So these four are normal. Uh, standard tuning, and the last two strings are okay. Um, so the first step to do is um, you need your middle finger and your ring finger. Um, you do your ring finger on the third fret, the second string, and you do your middle finger on the second fret, the third string. So these two. And um, I'm also regarding to the sides, you know, so like the, the top side is like one and the bottom side is six. So everything between that is like one, two, three, four, five, six. So you know where I am when I'm telling you what I'm actually playing here. All right, so I'm playing with this chord on hand. Uh, you play um, two, three, four, two. Okay, two, three, four, two. After that, you play five, four, three, five. So remember, it's always like a staircase, you know, it's always like two, four, three, five, five, four, three, five. Okay, so let's put this together. He repeats that two times, two times, and the next step he only repeats it one time. So the next step you place your, um, you can either use your index finger or your um, or your middle finger and ring finger doesn't matter actually. Um, you should probably use. Oh well, it doesn't matter actually. Um, so I'm playing with the index finger. You place your index finger on the second fret, the second string and your middle finger on the 2nd fret, the 3rd string, so just like regular E. And you're playing this time, 6, uh, I'm sorry, 1, 3, 4, 1. But remember only one time, so 1, 3, 4, 1. And then you play 6, Four, three, five. So six, four, three, five. Six, four, three, five. Let's put this all together. So we have okay. And after that, you quickly do jump to your to your top side. You just take your index finger on the second fret, the first string. And you play one, three, four. Yeah, exactly. You play, and then you switch with your index finger to the third fret and do the exact same thing. So it's just like, okay. After this little, uh, you know, this thing here, you do, um, you place your index finger on the second fret and do, and then strum all the strings. Okay, so let's put this together. That's it for the pre-intro. Now after that, we do. Uh, there are only slightly changes in the um, in the things that we already learned. So you place your your um, ring finger and your middle finger again. Um, like the same pattern, with the exception that you do your index finger 
on the second fret, the fifth string. Okay, so it looks like that. And you play the exact same pattern. You play two, three, four, two, five, four, three, five. So you play. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Um, let's come to the original. He plays it one time like this, and then the second time we have a slight, um, a slight change. So he plays like. Let me show you what I'm playing. Okay, we have a little pull off here. We play two, three, four, two, just regular. Then we play five, where we have the index finger now, and make a pull off. Okay. Play three again and five again with the finger away. Okay, so... I'm sorry. Okay. Let's continue to the second part. The second part is the exact same pattern, only with a slight ex um, exception too. Um, you take your index finger, like you know, like you already know, um, index fingers on the second fret, the second string, middle fingers on the second fret, the third string, and you do your ring finger on the second fret, the sixth string, so the last string here. Okay, and it sounds like this. You play the exact same pattern, you play one, three, four, one. Okay, that's, that's normal. And after that comes a little exception. Um, you play... I'm oh, sorry. Ah, okay, here we go. Um, so you play, um, in general, you play one, three, four, one. You play six and another pull off. Okay. Then you play three, two, uh, um, three, five. Okay, so. And then you go to these, like, you know, the switching things again. Okay, that's it. That's just it. It's just um, regular um, repetition. He, he just repeats it over and over again. Um, the, the chords that I showed you at the beginning, he just plays it one time and then stays at the special chord, you know, like with the adding, um, with the adding index finger. So the regular... Um, the regular chord he plays is always like this, you know, he always plays, when he's singing, he always plays... Um, I'm sorry. You know, and it always repeats, it always repeats. And before he um, actually starts singing, he, he, um, um, he repeats, he always repeats like this part, he always plays like... Then he starts to play with the singing in it. Okay. Yeah, that just is for the first part. Um, this is like the intro thing. He always repeats that. You you can try um, to sing while playing that. Um, personally, I I will never understand how Ben Howard does it um, and does all that um, while he's singing. Um, because it's unbelievable hard, um, but you will see for yourself. Um, just try, just repeat it. Um, on the second part of this video, I'm gonna show you how to play like this this middle part he plays, um, uh, like with the chorus. When it comes to the chorus, like when he's saying, when he's actually singing, keep your head up. Um, he's playing something slightly different. Um, but this is just for the second part. Um, yeah, just good luck with it. If you have any questions, any comments, just put it right down there. And yeah. Good luck with that.